Hello and welcome to Infinity. I've got some more free color grading macros for you. And uh, here we have them. The, the SC stands for Selective Color Grading in Tetradic, which means four different colors. It's in the library, which you can get to through View, Studio and Library. And to download these, go to the link down below and it'll be in the usual resources page and download that and you can drag and drop it onto here or you can go to the little hamburger cup here and say import macros from there. So what they are is we got them in a square, a rectangle, a narrow rectangle. So a square, for example red, lime, cyan and violet comes from red, lime, cyan and violet, as you can see, are effectively in a square around the colour wheel, which means you've got two complementary pairs with no close relationship between those. But we do get closer when we get to rectangular. So here, for example, you've got red, green, cyan and magenta. So we've got red, green, but then cyan and magenta. So we've got this rectangle here. So it's based around red and magenta at this end and the green and cyan at this end, which makes it a more of a complementary, a sort of a broad complementary pair. To do, to do these, by the way, just click on them and you've got controls here. These shift before and after. You'll see, you can see afterwards that they're in HSL. That's all they are. So, and the strength here is effectively opacity. So if I apply this, then it appears here and the rotate is simply changing the hue before the effect. So you can see there's a rotating effect there. And shift is changing it afterwards. So you get a slightly different effect from both. But you don't need to change those if you're just going to keep to the original. And you can just delete that layer to go back again. And in fact, if you click it and you don't change anything here, you can click another one and it'll change to that as well. So the red, green, cyan, magenta there, see, is based around here. So it extends those colours. You can see it more in here, the red, green, cyan and magenta there. So colours been reduced and changed. And the narrow rectangular. So let's just take one of these here. You can see here, this is red, orange, cyan and teal. So red, orange here, cyan and teal here. So it's even narrower. So it's like, again, a complementary pair across here, but with a narrower range. How close you can actually emulate this depends very much on the capabilities of selective colour, because you can always go in and change those. So, for example, let's get to a real image here. So to try them out, you can literally just click through them and figure the ones that you like. And if, say, for example, we got right down to the end here, I would say, well, I kind of like the effect down here, but the sky here is a bit weird. All you need to do is apply there to keep it. Then you can either paint a mask, to put a mask on here by clicking down here and then painting black on it to up here to get back to the original. Or you can go in and edit the grading. So here, for example, the sky, that's going to be mostly cyan. So if I go to the cyans here, and go, there's more green in the here now, isn't there? And that's because the magenta is pulled down, because this is a magenta is the reverse of green. So if I pull this up, it's taking that green out. And in fact, if I keep going, I can make it more blue. So I can find the point I like without having to do any masking. So I've got the sky now blue, and I've got that colouring down below is still there. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.